Hey everyone, Till here. Today I'm reviewing the Samsung Note Paper Screen, which is a removable or detachable matte screen protector that's made for the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 series tablets. First of all, a disclaimer, this is a review sample on loan from Samsung Singapore. And the price of this screen protector will vary depending on the size. So this tablet that I have here is the Tab S9 Ultra, and this screen protector in Singapore is 98 Singapore dollars or US 54 dollars and 99 cents. I'm going to list the prices for the other sizes here. By the way, in this video, I will refer to the note paper screen as a screen protector, even though this product is not made for protecting the screen. This product is made to give you that extra tactile experience when you're writing and drawing on your tablet. Now this screen protector is obviously transparent, but this side here that attaches to the tablet is white. And from what I can see here and also online, this is only available in white. So I'm not sure how this white looks with the black bezels. Anyway, this looks all right this is definitely the highest quality matte screen protector that i have ever seen and that's how the anti glare looks this screen protector is really thick this is maybe one millimeter thick and this is how thick it is compared to the s pen nib this is several times thicker compared to typical screen protectors this is how the screen protector sounds if thickness has a sound and that's my mic below the nice thing about this screen protector is it's removable or detachable so if you don't need it you can remove it and the magnets are quite strong so let's look at the bottom here this connector will let the tablet know that a screen protector is attached and the tablet will recommend you increase the touch sensitivity of the tablet and there are two extrusions here to match the two holes on the bottom of the tablet the fitting is perfect so once you have the tablet close enough they will snap together and the magnets are really strong let me detach this and let me attach the previous model the tab s8 ultra to the screen protector the fitting is not perfect can you see the little gap there this needs a little help to move it in position the reason for the gap is due to the locations of the two holes and the connector which is slightly off compared to that on the new tablet it's maybe off by half a millimeter anyway you can still use this with the old tablet you just need to adjust it slightly another thing i noticed is the magnetic strength for this screen protector is not as strong with the older tablet but it's much stronger with the Tab S9 tablet. So the fitting is perfect on the side, but the alignment is a bit off at the top, off as in the screen protector extends out slightly. Maybe it's better this way. All matte screen protectors will affect the image quality of the display. Um, yeah, so when you first attach when you install the screen protector for the first time and you swipe down from the top, there will be a note to tell you to turn on or enable touch sensitivity. So let's go into the settings to do so. Touch sensitivity is under display. Notice as I swipe up, nothing happens. You actually have to scroll down all the way to find touch sensitivity. So if you don't enable this, let me show you what happens. I try to swipe up to go to the home screen but nothing happens and sometimes it may register other shortcuts so as i tap this a few times nothing happens if i swipe from the left nothing happens from the right nothing happens sometimes when i swipe from the top to get the notification panel it does not appear so you definitely have to increase the touch sensitivity or enable this you know what let me just okay now it's enabled and with that enabled you can swipe from the bottom to go to the home screen and swipe left and right and now it works let me try to swipe from the right yep now it works all matte textured screen protectors will affect the image quality of the display which is why it's nice to have one that is detachable 
So now I want to show you the original quality of this OLED display versus the affected image quality. Let's look at the original quality first. This is the image quality of the display without the screen protector. The colors are vibrant and the visuals are sharp. So let's apply the screen protector, the matte textured screen protector over it. And from what I can see, the visuals are slightly fuzzier, but it's still quite sharp. And you can see this anti-glare, which looks really nice. It doesn't affect contrast that much. And the viewing angles is also not affected that much. Another thing I want you to look out for is whether there is any additional grain or color noise or shimmering effect produced by the screen protector. And for that, I will have to move the screen protector slightly. Maybe to the left side and to the right side. Usually you will be able to see that shimmering effect or the color noise when you move the tablet and the screen protector together but I don't really see that so I'm happy to report that the quality of this screen protector is really good now to truly appreciate how good this is we will compare it with a screen protector that is not that great this is the screen protector that I'm using on my iPad and it looks good too however if you look at the display from different angles sometimes you can see the color noise i'm not sure if my camera is able to pick that up let me do a closer zoom to let you see whether you can see any color noise now i can see the color noise with my eyes and it's quite visible when compared to the samsung screen protector but it doesn't seem like my camera is able to capture that. So I'm not sure if you were able to see the color noise. Anyway, there is visible color noise on this and there is no color noise on the Samsung screen protector. The selling point of this is, this is way more affordable, but as you can hear, it's more flimsy. Let's talk about the writing and drawing experience. So this surface is matte textured and I would describe the surface texture as extremely fine grain. So the writing and drawing experience is fantastic. Now I'm right-handed, so if I have the tablet in portrait orientation and this side is on this side, Sometimes when I'm writing, you can see the surface will move. So for me, I would prefer to have it, I have this side on the right side. The surface will still move, but it will move less. For me, I get the best user experience with the attachment side at the top, because when I draw from left to right or right to left, this drawing surface will not move. Let's see whether the drawing performance is affected by the screen protector. So I'm going to draw some thin and thick lines. So pressure still works and this is the Statler Norris Digital. Let's switch over to using the Samsung S Pen again. And this is again the Statler Norris Digital. So once again, I can see the Statler Norris Digital is more sensitive when it comes to drawing really thin lines. Here and here, these lines are thinner compared to the Samsung S Pen. And this is the same performance you get with or without the screen protector. Another thing to note is without the screen protector, I can get the lines to come out more consistently, especially for hatching lines where I need the consistent thickness but with the screen protector sometimes it's not as easy to get the lines to be consistent and now it looks all right so earlier when i tried to draw 
Sometimes you can see the lines are thick and sometimes it's thin. Let's hear how the soft pen nib sounds on the matte screen protector. I'm pretty sure this will wear down the soft pen nib very quickly. And if you guys want to get the soft pen nib replacements, I have links in the video description below for you. I've just switched over to using the Statler Norris Digital with a plastic nib to let you hear the sound of the plastic nib on the surface. The writing experience of the hard plastic nib is really good. It's difficult to say which one is better. So you can go with either. I would recommend you go with the plastic nib because this is likely to wear down less compared to the soft rubber tip on this matte textured surface. One thing to note about matte textured screen protectors is with usage, the surface can actually become smoother and lose the texture. So I'm not sure whether this will lose the texture in the future because I've not used this that long. And I'm also not sure whether this will develop scratches in the future. So this is my review of the Samsung Note Paper Screen. Is this worth the money? Well, you can decide and let me know in the comment section below whether you use any screen protectors on your tablet. Do you use the thin plastic glossy reflective ones, the glass screen protector, the matte textured screen protector or removable matte screen protectors. All right, see you guys in the next video. Bye.